of the head giant Bugsy Malone. And then he did Foxes with Jodie Foster. And then he finally got to work with a real actor, with Willie Ames. Right. Uh, <laughs> so the, the question that I've always wanted to ask you is, who fucked Heather Thomas? <laughs> uh, I, can, I, I can answer that. No, no, no. It was it was Lee Majors. Uh, yes. <laughs> she pulled up to work in a Ferrari, uh, and nobody could figure out where the car came from, and it was him. And it was him. That was just wow. That makes me feel happy. If anyone is okay, it's that I will allow. Six 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 it's, it's Lee Major, Six million dollar man. Um, in, in all your early movies, you were, you know, on, you know, it was Happy Days or Fox, and you were kind of the cool, tough guy. And in this movie, you went fully kind of for an 80s nerd. And this is three years before Revenge of the Nerds. What was it, and then kind of Ames gets to be sort of the fun, wacky stud sidekick. What was it, that was, that, that was actually a big sort of departure performance for, for you. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, they, 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 they one script and they paid me money. <laughs> I, I, I just read it and I thought it'd be fun to do it. I, it wasn't like a career choice. I just it was just offered to me, and I was off that summer. I went okay. <laughs> it was that easy. It was life that simple back then. Yes, it was. <laughs> and I'm not lying. I'm, I'm really not being lying about it. It was just the thing. It just here's what you want to do this movie. I went. Fun, great, let's do it. And I don't know if you guys, uh, a couple people applauded during the credits, but Daniel Pearl shot this movie. He shot the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I think that the sort of, um, what was it like? I mean, when you saw that, how much of the movie, and you haven't seen this in you know, 20 years, what was it like? What, did you, what were some of the memories that came back? Were there, was there something you had absolutely no memory of shooting, or did you remember pretty much all of it? As it started going along, I remembered it. Um, I, I, I sort of forgot that it was actually it was actually pretty damn funny. Yeah, yeah, I actually and, and not because I was in. I mean, I was sitting there with with my wife and going, "This is a funny movie." Um, that was my point all along. It's a legit. And by the way, I was always I was always so upset that this movie was never on DVD. And then I went to Amoeba last week, and on the new release of shelves, there it was. Oh really? Finally, last week. I remember really that, but that was that was fun. It was the teacup thing, and I don't know why. I just uh, it just. Oh, I remember that day it was a fun day. We went to Magic Mountain. That was Colossus. Uh, and you know, it's so funny for me to watch it. I I think about every scene. I think about what was happening when we weren't doing the scene. Okay. You know, who was there? Because my father was my father died last year, and my father was around a lot then. And uh, my friends would show up, and uh, we shot that at some high school. I don't remember where. I think it was Hollywood somewhere. John Marshall. Uh, where John, is it? John, John Marshall, Silver Lake. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's close enough. <laughs> was, that was actually the, one of the 700 extras with giant mustaches and beard. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, the open scene coming out of the classroom, it's like, okay, we have these guys that are high school seniors, but they're both 21. Let's make every other person in the high school 45. <laughs> I was 21. Yeah. Yeah, I was 21 years old. It was 81. I was born in 60. So, uh, yeah, it was 81. So, I, I, I really didn't look 21. I mean, I, th I think the guy with the mustache was probably 20. Yeah. <laughs> and and we, well, there's some of my favorite 80 staples. First of all, Greg Bradford does such a great job. He plays Robert Walcott from Tee Weevil College. He's pretty loud. And he also was in the movie. He was like the atypical blonde haired bad guy. And he's such a great kind of 80s foil. It's like, I'm going to break your face. Like, that was how kids talked, at least to me back then. <laughs> the shorts killed me. <laughs> They were so many amazing. I mean, I've actually, I will tell you this, I have actually gone out as Barney Springboro for, for Halloween. Oh, really? I'm like, maybe one person in the party would get it, but they appreciated it. <laughs> I'll tell you two things that you might not know. The scene where the guys moon me in the car with the two girls. Where they use backwards dialogue, looped. Right. Why is this good? Yeah, right. Right. When they couldn't get them to the album, they just gave them why. I was sitting in front of him. Every line. <laughs> Every line from the movie. He actually ruined the movie for me. <laughs> I'm just trying to flex my zap muscles, show that I was genuinely a fan. Yeah, but that, that scene you like, and the, and the scene in the, uh, where, where we're making love, yes. was shot a year later, or eight months later. So if you look closely at it, my hair 
is all pinned up underneath, because I had to go back to happy days, and my hair had grown. So if you watch it now, you'll see, if you look close enough, you'll see my hair doesn't quite match. Well, which scene was the reshoot scene? The, 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 the one with the guys moon and me, okay. and the love making scene. <laughs> they, they shot the movie and they were just, they said, okay, they wanted, because after they saw the ending problem, they're like, we don't have enough male ass. I don't right. know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, don't, I just got a call saying, we need you to shoot two more scenes. And I said, what scene? They said, this. And I went, okay. And they said, then that. I went, all right, well, funny. And the cigarette thing, the cigarette thing was a complete joke. Within, within, uh, on the set, it was never supposed to be used. We sat there. I said, I said, I remember this vividly. I said to uh, 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 Bob the director, I said, "Give me some cigarettes." He said, "No, no, you can't smoke cigarettes. Give me a cigarette just for the hell of it." And we did it and blew it out of our noses and they left it in the movie. It's the funny shot. It's like coming out of your mouth and it's coming out of your nose. Just to look at your face. It's just so like. It was, it, I mean, but you can see that that really works and it got like there were. It was great to see the movie getting like, real. Genuine, genuine laughs in the film. I mean, I've, there's so many things I love. Love 80s montages with keyboard music. <laughs> so many just gratuitous tit shots. Yeah. I mean, just the end of the film, you feel like, okay, it's gonna end. And then you do And then you have the token big fat 80s party animal. Like, <laughs> I mean, these are like, I, I just actually, I actually started getting choked up nostalgic. Like, I remember being a kid thinking that not only was high school going to be like this, but that movies were going to be like that. And then somehow, after like 1984, everybody got all serious and John Hughesy and just fucking life was over. Uh